Well, now we're going to deal with another aspect of transformations. So, you know this, if you have y equals, uh, as a matter of fact, let's just get to a transformation. Uh, f of, oh boy, f of x minus h plus k. And say we're starting with this ordered pair a, b. Now, <clears throat> what does this impact, this k? Does it impact the a or the b? Well, it impacts the, uh, it's a, uh, a vertical transformation. So we add b or k to b to get the new y coordinate. The next thing, how does this x minus h impact this ordered pair? Well, to see that, you simply set x minus h equal to whatever the horizontal coordinate is, in this case a, and you solve for x. x equals a plus h. So the new ordered pair is a plus h, and the y coordinate, or yeah, y coordinate is going to be b plus k. So now let's consider what happens when we have y equals negative f of x. Uh, so we're starting over again. Well, <clears throat> this negative sign outside to the left of f just impacts the uh, y coordinate and you just change, it's multiplying whatever the y-coordinate is by a negative, so in this case we get a negative b. What if we have y equals f of negative x? Well, this sign now impacts the x-coordinate, and you multiply the uh, horizontal coordinate by a negative. In other words, you change the sign on it, and uh, uh, you get a ne the ordered pair negative a and b. And what if we have finally y equals f of x, uh, I beg your pardon, f of m x. In this case, you set, as we did before, m x equal to a, and you solve for x, and you get a over m. And so now the new horizontal coordinate is a over m, and the b coordinate has not changed. Now, let's do some problems. So, the first one, 1, y equals f of x plus 3, and our ordered pair we're starting with is 2, negative 3. By the way, I better read these directions. Suppose the ordered pair 2, negative 3 is on the graph of y equals f of x. Find a point on the graph of the given transformed function. So, there's nothing going on with the x-coordinate, but we have to add 3 to get to the given y-coordinate, and so uh, 3 3 minus 3 is 0, so that's the new point in the transformation. Let's look at 2. We've got y equals f of x plus 3. And remember, every time we're using that ordered pair, so there's no change in the y-coordinate here, so we still have a negative 3. To find the new x-coordinate, we set x plus 3 equal to 2, and subtracting 3 from both sides, we get 2 minus 3, so x equals minus 1. So the new uh, f ordered pair for the transformation is minus 1 minus 3. Well, let's do some more of this. For 3, y equals f of 3x. 
there's no change in the uh, going to be no change in the y coordinate, but we'll set there will be a change in the x. So we set 3x equal to the x coordinate is 2, and we solve for x. x equals 2 over 3. So our new ordered pair relative to the transformation is 2 thirds, and the y coordinate is negative 3. So look at, let's look at 4. y equals negative f of x. And so there's going to be no change in the horizontal coordinate. But when we multiply the uh, y coordinate by a negative, that just means change the sign, because negative times a negative 3 is a 3. And there's our new transformed uh, ordered pair. And finally, y equals f of negative x. Well, in this case, as you know, there's going to be no change in the y coordinate. We simply multiply the x coordinate by a negative, and we get a negative 2. And there's our new transformed ordered pair. And that's the way it works.